Hey there everybody, thank you for tuning into the channel. This is the Bassett or More Outdoor Channel and I'm Justin. Um, if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do. So, um, in this video you can see the camper behind me. Down below is a video of my camper if you wanted to check that out so you can see exactly what I'm powering up with this generator. But today we're going to be talking about the Briggs & Stratton P3000 generator. So. Here it is, and I'm going to do a quick overview on this generator for you and show you all the different features about it. And uh, then from there, we're going to plug it in and we're going to fire up the air conditioner so you can see that this thing actually does the job. So first off, you've got some convenient carrying handles right up here on top. You can have one hand on each side, one hand on the middle. There's a handle in the back back here, which I find that if I carry one hand in the middle, and one hand in the back, I'm able to easily pick this up and put it in the back of my truck. Um, one of the cool things about this is, once you have it out of the truck, there's a handle that pulls out here so that you can wheel it like a suitcase. As you can see, it has wheels on it. That makes it really nice once you get it out of the truck to wheel it over to your campsite um, or wherever you need to use it. So, it has some convenient instructions over here on the side on how to start it. it tells you one flip the switch up two flip this switch forward three pull the handle four flip it back over there you go that's how easy it starts when you want to shut it off just flip the switch um, as you can see um, pulling it straight up does cause a little nick in the side but no honestly i don't mind that one bit that's okay with me um, as we come around the front, it does have a fuel gauge up top. Um, the fuel gauge is not the best. I've noticed that when you're filling up, it doesn't go up as the gas goes up. It takes a minute before it catches up. Um, and filling this up is not the easiest thing. You can see it's got a thing in there to catch any debris. Now you can pull that up and out, which I don't suggest, because this is designed to catch any debris from getting into the fuel lines. Um, the hard part is, is when that is in there, you cannot see the fuel coming up until the point that it starts to overspill. But they did put a convenient little thing right here, so if you do overfill any gas, it'll drain down and out, or you could tip it right out without making a big mess, and that's pretty nice too. Um, so as you go on the front here, you have your quiet power switch. So this is on, this is off. And essentially what that makes it is if you're not running a lot, you can turn that off and it um, goes based off of the power you're um, consuming off the generator at the time, um, which I honestly always leave it on. I never turn it off. Um, you have a nice little 12 volt outlet right here. You have four 120 volt outlets right here. You have um, a parallel adapter right there so you can plug in a second generator off this if you needed. And then you have your 30 amp outlet here and I know a lot of you guys are saying well that doesn't look right which if you look at your camper plug it doesn't it doesn't fit they do provide you with this little adapter that plugs into it and then it locks in place now you can see your 30 amp outlet fits just fine so do we go around the other side not a whole lot there to it come around the back there's your exhaust port that handle I was talking about and then right here, if you remove your screws, that's how you get to change the oil and everything else. So, now that you've seen what the generator looks like um, and how it runs, let me start this back up for you and show you. Okay, now that we've got this started up, I'm gonna show you the front panel. So as you can see, the front panel, the first thing it comes up on is running hours. So I've ran this thing for almost 50 hours so far. Now, if you click this one more time, Come on, there you go. Now it tells you the percent of load, which obviously I don't have anything plugged into it, so there is no load on it right now. Now, if for some reason you do trip, this light will go red, and all you do is hit that to reset it, and voila, you're okay. It has an oil indicator light, and then just an everything okay light, which are pretty cool. Um, so when we start the air conditioner, we'll watch this so you can see exactly where the camper's at before and after I start the air conditioner. So, let's go ahead and let's plug our camper in. Now that I've got it plugged in, you should see that I've now got some draw on it. That's probably going to be my refrigerator, uh, who knows, maybe a fan in there for the electronics, whatever else, but, you know, 4.7%. 
that's not bad. And as you can tell, the thing's actually pretty quiet. I'm standing right next to it talking to you guys still, and I'm sure you can barely hear the generator, so that's pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and we're gonna flip on the air conditioner. Um, now the one thing I did notice is a trick here to get the air conditioner to fire is first off, you're gonna wanna turn it on to fan. And you wanna let that run for a minute. And the reason being is if you turn it on to fan and then start the air conditioner right away, you will trip your generator every time. So as we come in, we're going to make sure that the radio's turned off, TV's on, microwave's on, nothing we can do about that. We're going to make sure all the lights are off of the camper. We're going to make sure that our fridge is set to gas, not to auto, because if it's set to auto, it'll automatically run off the generator and draw that much more power. All the rest of the lights are off. Check the bathroom, fans off, lights are off in here. So the only things that should be running right now is we have the fan on. This way it gets the condenser going, gets the air conditioner ready to turn on. Doesn't take as much power to draw down if it's already on and running. Microwave, TV, and then a little fan on the power inverter for the camper. Those should be the only things on at this point. So now what we're gonna do, is now that we've got the generator on, we've got it plugged in, everything else, you can see our draw is now at 13%. I still have it over on the quiet mode. Like I said, I'd never take that off. And mind you, fan has been running for a couple minutes now. As anybody who has ever started air conditioner knows that you have to do that in order for it to have less power when you initially fire it up. So now we're gonna flip it over to cool and there we go. I don't know if you can hear it. Air conditioner is on, it's blowing cold. Now, let's go outside and as you can hear, generator is now running a little faster, a little louder. And we're now at a 50, about a 55% draw, but it's still on that quiet mode. So now that we have the AC on, you can see, Turn on my radio here. Sorry, I gotta grab the TV remote. You can hear the radio going. Turn the TV on. So there you go. Now I can sit back, watch a movie. Air conditioner is still on and running. And let's go see what our draw is at now. So we're now at about a 60% draw. We still have stuff we can do. So now I could turn on lights. Let me get a couple of lights on here. So now we have a couple of lights on. As you can see, still have the TV on. I still have the radio on. And air conditioner is still on and going. Now let's check that draw. there you go 62% draw so last time I tested this it's exactly what I did is I sat back on my couch here put a movie on and this air conditioner shut off three times and turned back on without me ever having to go out there turn the generator back on reset the switch turn any lights off or anything like that for to kick back on it just works so it's that initial charge you just have to turn the fan on turn everything else off let it run for a minute and then voila, it kicks on and it runs just fine. So as an added bonus, um, I'm gonna throw in a picture here and I'm gonna talk about this picture while we're at it. So last weekend, we went camping. As you can see, we got two campers here. Now, if you look right in between the two campers is my generator. If you look closely, you can see a cord from the camper on the left, the Jayco, running to the generator and the camper on the right, my camper, running to the generator. Um, we had both generators plugged in the smaller Jayco was running the air conditioner while the lights were on charging the batteries our lights were on charging the batteries the bathroom fan was on pulling a draft through it and everything else and it still ran perfectly fine it wasn't until the wife turned on the microwave to try to bat pop up a bag of popcorn for the kids watching a movie that it finally tripped the breaker with both um, microwave and air conditioner going on the other camper so 
um, it does a really good job. So I really hope you guys appreciate this. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on this video. Feel free to comment anything I might have missed out below or any questions you have. I'm happy to answer anything. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel as I can really use some love. So I um, want to thank you guys all for tuning in and gals and hope that this was good for you. And see you in the next video. Thank you.